term Aussie logic. Uh, and explain why it is useful in decision support systems. Fuzzy logic. Okay. It's a great phrase. I forget who made up the term fuzzy logic. You can go look it up shortly. I was going to say shortly. You can probably look it up now because that's what you guys do. Um, it's like it's like it's like holding out a carrot in front of a rabbit's face. Anyway, fuzzy logic. Um, it's meant to contrast with clear cut logic. So if you like, it's kind of like okay, where you don't have black and white. You've got different shades in between, and you're just not sure. So logic. You know, this is what we refer to by, okay, if, you know, uh, BMI is less, is greater than 20, then, um, you know, some action after this, okay? Now this is clear-cut logic. There's a, a border, it's well-defined. Above it, you do something. Below it, you do something else, okay? Very, very clear-cut, very black and white, okay? Fuzzy logic is the opposite, right? It's that number one, you might have these numbers, right? But they're kind of, mm, you've got more of a range, a spectrum, right? As opposed to, you're on this side of the fence, or that one. And not only that, we have what we call uh, confidence, or uncertainty variables. What's a confidence variable? It has to do with the database of facts, the stuff that you know about a situation, okay? But specifically, it's how confident are you that you know that to be true? Because in your life, think about the decisions you have to make where you're not 100% sure of all the details. Like, you think you kind of know, but how certain you are actually changes the decision that you make, okay? So for instance, I remember I had a really bad um, experience once with a weather report. I read it, it said it would be like this, and I was like, okay, great, I'm gonna wear all of this kind of stuff, and it was a disaster. I was like wearing long sleeves, and I was burning to death, and bad experience, okay? So my confidence variables for looking at weather reports, okay, particularly a few days in advance, um, they plummeted, okay? So sometimes when you hear things from different sources, you, you can't just treat it as true. Right? Now this is a crucial problem that computers have, as opposed to humans. We do this naturally. We do this all the time. We're like, mm, you look going to sus, right? So I'll take your word on board, but I'm not necessarily going to treat it as 100% true. Okay? Now if you're making a decision support system that, for instance, has to deal with conflicting perspectives, right? Uh, then you're going to have to use these kinds of things to factor in. So fuzzy logic, right? It's going to bring out different kinds of decisions that are uh, certain, uncertain, on a spectrum in between those two. Right? 